Winnie. She's been eating the cat's food. You're not even trying to hide it, Winnie. You're just waiting in line. Try this. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. You naughty girl. She knows. Prince those eyes. Look. <laughs> you know. Dogs are a gamble. One and three are good ones. Winnie's one of those good ones. Except she eats the cat's food. They're like, what's going on? You know what's going on? The dog ain't gonna get your food today because I put it up. What happened? I cleaned the shop. How do I get kids to clean the shop? How to get you to clean up the shop? I don't know. <laughs> it's not messy. It's not messy. It's not that bad. What do you guys think? Is it messy? Hey, how's your uh, yeah, really furniture really coming? I'm about to stain it. Nice. Jonah, can you pick up in there today? Day three, doing chores with Josiah. Do you like doing cat chores with me? Yeah. You sure? You like this arrangement then? Yeah. Okay. Happy day. Welcome to another day in the life of the Rooted Live. We are growing what we eat and eating what we grow. Yesterday, we harvested all these acorn squash. That's what I should be kissing. We got up all the old plants and weeds, turned those into bacon and sausage. Boom! And today's project, should we get to it? I think we'll get to it. I'll show you how we convert a bed, get it ready, rest it, for a jam and spring garden bed. Tell the side take me to the four wheeler, Papa. Okay. Is that the four wheeler? He wouldn't he get out. He wasn't. <laughs> yeah, we were. We were literally like 20 feet from it. This is why I'm taking turns with them. They're not having to do all the chores together every morning. Give them a little respite. They constantly bicker. Have you seen Ocean's Eleven? Where those two uh, driving brothers, their part in the heist was to drive? Take him to the four wheeler just now. Those, anyway, those two. Because he wouldn't get out. Those two brothers fight constantly in that movie, and it's hilarious. Okay, go ahead, I got one. Are you gonna think of one? Okay. No, I've already thought of one. I'm not going to. All right, think so one. you're thinking of one right now? No, I'm done thinking about it. I Five. have it in my head. Are you a man? Yes, 19. Are you alive? Yes, 18. Evil can evil. After I saw that, I swear I got less frustrated with this, and I just pretend I'm in a movie. <laughs> We're at Ocean It's 11 Heist. Now, how come you and I don't fight like that? Nice. You're not annoying. <laughs> Should I appreciate that? Instead of milking outside the fence today, we're gonna try milking inside. We gotta go inside anyway to move the milk soil. It's about maximum efficiency. We're gonna let people over. Let's get the steer and He-Man over too, Josiah. Then he'll have fresh grass to putz around with. These two are like two boys together. One boy, one brain. Two boys, half a brain. We got a new br bromance with E-Man and that steer over there. You're ready to go. I think we'll pull the trigger on him. The grass is slower growing now, and that's one way to relieve it and make it last longer. We like to graze at least until Christmas. I'll harvest some animals. We're in position to move this. One thing I like about milking where they were is they spill any alfalfa, we leave it behind, and this is where the sheep go today. And when we were milking outside the fence, although it's easier because it's flatter, people want to get out because they want to go towards that alfalfa. Look at this guy. He usually beats me milking. He's not beating me today because we weaned her. Get a lot more milk? Yeah. That's full. I filled that up. Heard you put some in too. I put some in. So how'd you like this arrangement? It's okay. All right. Try to let them take charge. He decided we would do it this way today. We should be able to open this. They'll probably come back, so secure everything. That is using, I believe that's grandpa's old milk and stool. You know what? We'll just say it was. We'll just say it is. Because I think it is. We did that in like an hour. What was the secret? Now I gotta ask you something. You and I didn't fight once. We just both just quietly did our work. What's going on? I don't know. What's going on? You and Jonah can't do that? No, because he wants to boss me around. Hmm. You don't want to be bossed around. 
The independent guy. Jonah, what a surprise. That was 38 inches, correct? No, 30 inches. Shoot. But I'm going for off the, the thing, too. Hopefully you didn't go 38 inches. 42 inches. Just counting path. Oh. What'd you do? These two turned out fine, but that's why this one's a little off. And that's why you're going to run out of room. Put it at 42 and redo this one. Okay. These other two, I think, are okay. 30 inch beds, one foot pathway is 42 inch, is a 42 inch. Never shaped beds. I've never shaped beds, so tell oh. me what we're doing. Do we, don't we, uh, do we put con compost first or no, we do that second, don't we? Let me explain how we're doing it. I'm also going to give you a free pamphlet, a little uh, PDF I wrote down in the description. Uh, we take this rebar post, put I think that's small climbing rope. You can just use any old twine. That is not climbing rope. I don't know. What is? What am I trying to? Twine. What? What word am I trying to think for it? Small paracord. Yeah. You know, he measures from this end over 42 inches, and then he go. You want to do it? You're about to do it. Let's show him how to do it. He goes 42 inches. You got to remember to go to the left of your line. Just be consistent. Always walking in the path. Annie, let's start loading compost. All right. We strategically place our compost up. This garden knot is on a slight hill, so we load and we're wheelbarrowing the contents downhill. Wait, what, you, you can't do that yet. You that's have to just move. The oh, that's row. the old one. So now we take our other end and move it over 42 inches. Go to this side of it to make a, a footpath. And we just use a flat shovel for that. And that's about a foot. Now, we have all this compost that animals helped us make on the farm. This is my foolproof garden method. I, don't, I haven't worried about amendments in years. I just make sure every time I add some compost. We're doing two to three wheelbarrow loads. Two. Jonah insists on two this time, that's fine. I think we just did this before the fall crops. I'm thinking it's gonna work. And he's shaping it with a bow rake, hard rake, putting the compost on top. No reason to till. About one hour left, I need to take Lily to her horse and lessons. We've gotten done three rows. I don't think that's taken us an hour. So we've gotta get these other three done within an hour. I think it's doable. Well, we're hoping we have enough time left over to put our acorn squash that we dried into the root cellar. Or as they say up north, the rut cellar. Did I get it right? One more row. We did find a cool praying mantis. Whoa. I don't know. It's mean. Wow. Pick that it is up. illegal Let's to kill those up. in North Carolina. Look at that. Whoa, it does have a stinger. Oh, See it come out? Right there. Whoa, Papa. I heard if you get bit by those, you gotta go to the hospital. Really? I don't think so. I think you're right. I heard some guy died. <laughs> Do you want a silage at first? Not the worst idea in the world. We're running out of growing weather. Thank you, dry. Spray cover this for a couple weeks, then plant. You could also silage scarp it, which we're gonna do, and then just leave the silage scarp. Good row there, Annie. You've gotten good at the sixth one. This soil's wet, so we're not gonna wet it down. Could plant seed, but because we've moved it around, we've got air into it, shoveling up from the pathways into the beds. It's aerated the seed heads, and so and he's right. Best practice be cover it up. I think we have time. Let's just cover it up for maybe 11 days and plant October 1st. Basically I have till Thanksgiving for growth. The slows the further we get because the days are getting shorter and then and days are getting cooler. There's some satisfaction in the silage tarp though. Silas tarp from Farmer's Friends. Silas tarps will last longer. We just use this for two weeks as opposed to all winter. That is a satisfying sight. Our future selves, our spring selves, will thank us profusely. Nipped weeds in the bud. We have our garden prepped and ready. If we just kept the silage tarp, all we would do is peel it back in the spring when we're ready to transplant. Hopefully in a couple of weeks we remember, we pull this up, plant a cover crop. That adds extra goodness to the soil and we'll see how that goes. Get in, come down please. Mom and Jonah continuing work on the phone charging station. He's turned but, into quite the uh, woodworker, huh? Air. It's just bad smelling. Y'all brought it out here because it's, you yeah. want me to put it over there on the flat? <laughs> you guys want to put it out on the concrete? No. Jonah, man. I know. It's such a beautiful 
I know, and it, he's taken more than a day to do it. But wait, you got you got to get it off the bags. Future self will thank you. It's all about giving to our future self, isn't it? Making a sacrifice now for our life to be somewhat easier in the future. What are you doing right now, back to this is a, make your life better in the future? It's gonna have a pretty place. It's gonna make me smile every time I see it. That's yeah. what it's about for you, huh? My boy made me a nice. I'm Take. thinking we just have, we have a place to charge our phones. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Out of sight. We're, men are very practical. Women are very emotional. Did you pick up on that? Did you know you were coming out here barefoot? I, I, I did. I, I, well, it's because I'm in my house, and then I just come to the shop. Probably never got her feet dirty when she was a little kid. Went from grass to swim pool. Did you ever think you were going to live a country life? No. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you going to marry a banker and live on the intercoastal? I was. <laughs> Well, short of that. I was looking for someone in finance. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I somehow I'd heard that that's yeah. Uh, the, uh, Instead, you got somebody in uh, farming. farming. This farming was all my idea, anyways. So. <laughs> I mean, well, you met a country boy. I did. Who wanted to live in the country on the family land? And it was her idea to to do the farm behind every woman's vision okay, and dream. Okay, I'll let you take over. For a, an amazing homestead. He's a very so tired it, you don't family. Want to put too much. You want to kind of like... <laughs> she didn't hear me. I hear you. good. Oh, she heard me. Um, She's ignoring me. I am ignoring you. <laughs> this afternoon... So just put it in bags. Life is looking good yeah, for me. I'm kind of glad I forgot to set out the uh, brisket. <laughs> when you're on a homestead, it's weird that like... Brisket isn't like the top of the game, but... When you're on a homestead, it's like turkey. You can have it every month. So for us, yeah. something special is pizza. Which is probably normal for most people. It's normal. Everybody, they have it every Friday, honey. How many times you eat pizza last week, Annie? Uh, I didn't. Well, you're kind of like us. You're not really normal. Flash freeze these stuffed peppers. All we're gonna do is put them in a bag. Then you can just pick out as many as you want. They don't stick together because we didn't freeze them together. Because we flash froze them, they froze as individuals. We tried reheating those the other day from frozen and they were just fine. I mean, they weren't quite as good as fresh, but not more than 10% off. Bacon and cream cheese. It just makes it's it It's hard really to have good. it badly. Yeah. Killed the pizza. After this, a bike workshop. Have more chances of success with our 100 mile attempt next year. And better biking experiences. What do you think, boys? Yeah. Papa, do it down. I will, I will. We've got a Trailside workshop for mountain bikes this evening in town. La la let, la la let me be free.